Oh, whoops. Mr. Mediocre is back in town. Um, uh, but I never really left. I, I just meant, uh, welcome back to another video. I got this for Christmas, I think, or my birthday, one of the two. Um, I was going to make a video about it, but sooner, I mean. Um, and then I remembered, oh yeah, I'm supposed to make a video about it. So here I am. Um, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's bag toss. Desktop bag toss inspired by cornhole, I'm pretty sure. That's what the, the, the name of the game is, right? The game of the name. Uh, it's like where you just toss like little bean bags into... You can see it right there, right? All right. All right, we don't need that. Some assembly required. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh, it's pretty nice and bright. I don't know what those little abstract uh, shapes are there. Um, that's, I believe, a circle, and that's a square. Or actually, that's a rectangle, and that is an unfinished triangle. But on the other side, boom, it's finished. <laughs> and let that be a lesson to anyone with uh, Crocs out there. Uh, don't, don't, don't do that. So there's the finished product, and we unbag the bags. <laughs> So there are only four bags in the bag. Um, I'll save that for later. How to play. Set a board on flat surface. Done. Players all... <laughs> it says players with, a, with, with an S at the end of it, like a pronoun. Not a pronoun, <laughs> plural. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it says players, like a plural with an S at the end, but I think it was a typo. I think they meant just player. Player, alternate... Turn, tossing one bag per turn from... What? Alright, this is stupid. We don't need this. We know what the name of the game is. I found a dog bone. I'll save that for later. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> it was just a little bit of a test run. I I'm withholding all of my athleticism here, of course. That was close. Ah. Oh, shit, that was close. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, that was so close. Okay, okay, okay. I, see, I, I see. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 I guess you can, you can consider that hold corn. So, obviously, I have single-handedly found the most best position to play cornhole in, or, sorry, desktop bag toss. That's pretty, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show off my uh, desktop bag toss expertise. Uh, so now I'm going to take a little snack break. Uh, Swedish Fish Tails. Uh, two, two flavors in one. Almost like this video, you know? You got a nice... Uh, showcase of my athleticism and you have a, a food review for me or a candy review i've never had these before i'm a big fan of swedish fish um and i i mean i only ever had the red one i think on occasion i don't have like the colorful ones like at a school party or something like you know that one cool kid will like bring it well i i mean like in elementary school not in high school or middle school um wow these this is really greasy but <laughs> What the fuck did they cover this in actual fish oil? <laughs> um, <laughs> what the hell was I talking about? Yeah, cool candy. I never really got it as a kid. So uh, this is a pink and uh, an orange one. Uh, <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> the pink and green one going in. They're a lot softer than the regular Swedish. <laughs> that one's really good. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, this is what I thought, yeah. Of course, I ripped I ripped the part of the bag where it has the flavors on it. Um, but I'll, I'll try to decipher what, it, what, what the flavors are. All right, so the one I just ate is watermelon and pineapple. The one I have in my hands is raspberry and mango. And then the only remaining one is the blue and red one, which is just blueberry and strawberry. 
I'm actually allergic to blueberry. Um, like the actual fruit. Um, I don't know in candy form <laughs> if I'm able to eat it. Um, well, I don't, I don't want to die on video, so I think I'm going to have to save that for another time. All right, so this is a raspberry mango going in. I think I think I like the the watermelon pineapple one better. The raspberry mango one. There's too much mango. I don't even taste the raspberry. Now, I like mango, the fruit. Like I like mango. Like, you know. I like I like mango. I like mango juice and all that. I've never had it in candy form really. I'd give that like a six out of ten. Whereas the watermelon pineapple, I'd give a eight point five out of ten. So unfortunately, that uh, concludes the. Oh God, the Swedish fish. Uh, what's it called? Tails. Um, I give the overall experience a uh, uh, seven out of ten. Um, and I did obviously only try two, two, uh, two thirds of the candy offered, but that's because I can't eat the the other third because I just told you I have an allergy. Um, but this, I mean, this this one is really good. So you know.